The movie has a great cast. What would you say is your funniest or most memorable moments in filming? We did spend my birthday together, we my spent, 30th birthday. We spent my birthday together. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I, I was like be acting like such trash. I said something that totally like <laughs> alienated your friends, but anyway. Oh no, they were like really good. Oh. A lot. I was just a little mortified. It's okay. What did you do to celebrate your 30th? What did I do? We went to dinner. Went to dinner. And I worked. It was and, my oh, first no, no, no. It was dinner. that you hadn't seen the latest episode of Game of Thrones. This was a year ago. Oh. And like the last Sunday's episode Episode. So we yes. were trying to talk about Game of Thrones oh, yes, yes. without giving mm -hmm. away any spoilers from the previous episode, yes. which was very difficult. So there was lots of like, and the thing, when the thing, and he, and the, mm. yeah. And Blake was like, I swear to God, it's my birthday. Oh my God, I was so afraid that they were gonna ruin it for me. You must be hyped for the new series coming out. Oh, I'm so excited. We loved your chemistry. How did you go about building that on set? Well, I think you either have it or you don't. Yeah, right? just hours of <laughs> staring into each other, just forcing the chemistry. <laughs> a We're lot like, of voodoo dolls. Oh, I really don't get you, but <laughs> let's try to make this work. Between Blake and Anna, you're just, you know, you're, you laugh a lot because they're both such funny people. I mean, we've seen Anna do comedy before, and Blake, I just, I didn't know she was as funny as she is. And, and she would just pull out some of these lines and surprise me with some extra insult or some something that she added to the character and just like, oh, okay, there it goes. And then with Anna, you just never expect kind of what physically she's going to do with the role. Like, let's try it more awkward this time. And then she just pulls out the funniest hand gestures and just performance. They're really just masterful. When we first got there, we all had dinner together and they just had the greatest time. I mean, their chemistry was just there immediately. They'd, they'd, they'd met each other at a few parties before we I had cast them over the years and they both just admired each other. I remember when I told Blake that Anna was going to be in, she wrote back, I love Anna, she's a warrior. And I was like, awesome. <laughs> there are a few sex scenes in the movie. What is the reality like of filming those? No, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I should really go into porn. I'm so good at it. Like, I know like normally people talk about how awkward it is and the crew's just standing around and I was like, this is not awkward. Everybody here is getting the vibe. It's yeah. going great. <laughs> My friend's husband, she actually, like, he read the script and he read the character wrong. He was like, so how many people do you have to have sex with? And she was like, well, first of all, that's not even my character. And second of all, baby, do you think I've been having sex with these people this whole time? He's like, well, I don't know how it works because he's not an actor. And she's like, oh my God, you were like the most accepting husband ever. I'm so disturbed. I'm never less comfortable than when I have to film a sex scene. <laughs> so actually, I have to laugh. Like if you if you watch my movies closely, you'll notice there's hardly ever a sex scene in my movies, but when they are, it always starts wide and we just slowly push it on somebody's face and that's it. And then I'm like, okay, we got it. Let's get out of here. Was it quite awkward? I try to keep it to a minimum just because I'm so uncomfortable and I'll say like, you know, it's so workmanlike, you know, it, it, it seems romantic, but it's not. There's a bunch of guy, guys in cargo shorts standing around, you know, staring, staring. So uh, I try to get people through it as fast as I can. But when you work with great actors, they just muster it up and you're just like, wow, that looks real to me. Anna, you also did a rap scene in the movie. If there's a sequel, can we expect more songs brought into the mix? I really enjoy Stephanie singing in the car. I think that's her best self. Mm -hmm. um, there was supposed to be a scene where I'm like, on the way to Dennis Nylons and I'm like singing a power ballad that thank God got cut because the whole thing was like, I'm like confident and then it's like, you know, smash cut to me yeah. in the elevator going like, goo, I'm around models, boo. <laughs> um, so I'm very grateful that that's not in the movie. Hannah also did a rap scene in the movie. Did Anna break into any dance or song at all on set? Not spontaneously, but we had, we actually shot two different songs for that because we weren't sure which one we could clear. Um, so we also did uh, Rihanna's uh, Bitch Better Have My Money, which Anna just, killed it was so great but then I had the, the, uh, the, uh, the other one this anti up song which I I like because it, it, when she does it it's a very celebratory moment for her Anna Kendrick singing rapping the greatest thing ever I know she knew the song but I, you know, I gave it to her a few days in advance and she you know she 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 learned it but uh, you know because that wasn't easy that's it's a kind of a difficult rap in that one but uh, but the Rihanna song she knew right out the gate was there any karaoke th off the set uh, no no <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty, we had fun, but then uh, then we all kind of just uh, took our took our leave of each other at the end of the day. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but how did you go about shooting that scene on the lake? You know, Blake just really wanted to make sure that played very real. And so she put a lot of work into how she was going to, going to, pull that off, so, but it's, so again, it's it's all spoilers, I'm sorry, I can't tell you anything. There was a lot of great twists, what was your reaction to them? When the script first got sent to me, I mean, I always, 
as a director, you know, once you get into the project, it's so easy to lose sight of what, what drew you to it. So when I read it the first time, I was just like, oh, oh, every page I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So I have to remember that every time as I get further into the movie, go like, oh wait, no, the first time I read that, I was so surprised because if you lose that, then you can start to lose some of those surprises that were so appealing. The twists and turns, they were all nice and thrilling. We just had to keep track of them. Heavier lifting was just making the, the script sort of like fun and light yeah. and playful. So it was just like a lot of improv and, and making it more, um, I don't know, over the top. Yeah. Right? Blake, how did you find shooting the scenes where you have to swear in front of the children? Oh, we would have the children removed. Yeah, because there were a lot of alts and each one was sort of worse than the next. So um, we would do the scene, the wider shots with the children and then say, here. And then it would just be me and Anna and we would sort of go back and forth and just come up with just the worst things we could possibly say. But we couldn't say that in front of those kids. It's terrible. Don't tell my mom. <laughs>